What's going on guys, Hot Sauce Z here. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to just really quickly run through how to find the config file for a Battlefield game and then run through probably some of the common things you're gonna to wanna to change in it. So if you enjoy that, stick around and check it out. If you like the video, be sure to like it. But anyways, let's get into it. Let me switch on over to my desktop. And uh, we're actually gonna start here. This is a uh, mouse sensitivity calculator that I use pretty often. I use this a lot in Battlefield 5's life cycle, and I've used it a little bit in 2042's as well. But like typically, the reason you're gonna wanna get into a config file is probably just to dial in your sensitivity exactly where you want it. And the reason you're probably gonna wanna do this in the config as opposed to in the game, well, there's actually two reasons, um, especially when it comes to 2042. But the first reason being that a lot of times a game will have a slider and they'll only give you like X amount of increments that you can actually use to uh, change that sense. So if you're perfect sends, let's say you found it in another game, you converted it using one of these calculators or, or mouse sensitivity.com and uh, you found that it needs to be a specific number that doesn't hit right where the uh, where the game slider is, you can come into the config file and you can use a calculator like this to figure it out. So this is how I would do this. Let's say, let's say I played Kovacs or I played Apex Legends or Call of Duty or something like that. Just I played some other game and now I wanna play Battlefield 2042. Well, I would pull up something like this website and uh, I would come down here and I, let's say from playing those other games, I know that I want my 360 or my centimeters for 360 to be 24. So I'll type in 24 here. And then that's gonna change this value up here. And you can see that the game sensitivity says 19.43, blah, blah, blah. Also need, you also need to make sure that your DPI is correct. See, I know that's way too fast. That's because I'm using 1600 DPI. So we're actually gonna want that to slow down quite a bit. There we go. And eight is more like it. Now that's gonna be the in game setting um, as the way we have this calculator set right now. Um, this eight is pretty much where you're gonna wanna land in the game. Now, Battlefield, as a side note, Battlefield 2042 sliders are completely borked right now. So like you can actually land on eight and then, but also land on, various different values while you're on eight in the game. I'll, I'll try and show you more of that later when we get in the config file. But for now, we're gonna wanna come over here and we wanna change this to config file since we're gonna be changing this and we wanna know the value for the file itself. So at 24 centimeters for 360, and if you don't know what 24 centimeters for 360 is, that's just, it would take 24 centimeters for me to move 360 degrees in the game. But we know that we have our 1600 DPI in there. Um, and so that means we need to put this value into the game itself. So let me go ahead and copy this. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to, open up your uh, Windows Explorer and go to wherever your documents are. So mine are right here. And then you're gonna wanna open up Battlefield 2042, that folder. Then you come into settings and then you find the one called Prof Save Profile. Go ahead and double click that and uh, open it up with a notepad. Most people should have that installed. Now you're gonna see a giant list of things here and pretty much what you're gonna wanna look for is GST, and you can actually search this up, but it's gonna be G GST input.mousesensitivity. That's what we're looking to change. So this is the value you wanna find, GST input.mousesensitivity. Then you see the number here. This is what this is what the game has got according the last time I changed my sins, I used a slider um, in the game, so it's not actually quite right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is hit Control V since we copied that value from the calculator. I'm going to put that in there. So now this is going to be a more exact value. It's actually a couple too many decimals, um, so we can go ahead and uh, I think this one's six. So let's just go ahead and find. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then we'll just lop the rest off. We'll go ahead and round that up to a seven, and there you go. So this will be 24 centimeters to 360 exactly in the game. And if your sensitivity is all you wanna dial in, that's it, you're done. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit save, and so now that's saved. Um, the next time the game loads up, it will use that value, and uh, the menu in the game will reflect that as well. So now your sense is dialed into 24 if that's what you want. Great, good to go. That's how that's how you change your sensitivity. Now, with 2042 specifically, and this is with um, the other Battlefield games and other games out there that have, you know, prof save profiles like this. But um, 
you might look around and make sure, and again, especially with 2042, you might make sure you don't have anything weird going on in here. Like, for example, this, uh, I know for a fact this probably is 1.2 according to the slider in the game. I think that's what I have set. Being serious is 1.19. So, I mean, you're not really going to feel the differences with these small decimal values um, unless you're just really, really attuned to your sensitivity. Um, what this really just highlights is that the uh, the game has really weird um, settings, essentially. They just um, don't really line up with what the game is showing in the menus. But there's some other things you can change in here. You can change your FOV via um, the config file and all that. There's a lot of different settings. You, there, there's a couple of uh, render settings you can change as well. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend just going in here changing things willy-nilly because... Uh, Unless you unless you really know what you're doing, you might uh, mess up some settings in your game or something like that. And that's probably going to be beyond the scope of this quick tutorial that I'm putting together. I really just wanted to go over how to get into the config and change your sends because that's the thing that most people are going to be probably concerned with hitting right on the dot. And so that, I wanted to make a guide for that. Um, the next best thing your config can be used for is... Um, like I was talking about these render settings down here. Um, I won't, again, won't go into that with this video because there's some actually other videos um, put up by Mickey Soul or put up by Freethy. You can look those up here on YouTube. They have much more in-depth videos on what exactly to change to make sure you're getting the best FPS that you can and the best performance you can at a Battlefield 2042, um, at least right now. And uh, as we know, the game doesn't run very well. Um, but yeah, this, this works for Battlefield 2042, it works for Battlefield 1, um, Battlefield 4. Um, this is just kind of how you change your config in Battlefield games. So, hope this was useful. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial. Like I talked about in the past vlog thing, I do want to get into making some tutorial content that people can find. Hopefully I went through this um, quickly enough for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and uh, drop a subscribe if you are interested in seeing some more tutorials around Battlefield, um, around streaming, um, content creation, all that kind of stuff. I, I've got some plans in the works and I, I want to bring some more variety of that kind to this channel. So anyways, until next time, I will see you guys.